to say, I messed up yesterday, and I was supposed to be cast today. But because of what Jesus did on the cross, I cannot be cast. So mercy say, I am forgiven. But grace says, I don't deserve the blessing, but I receive what I don't deserve. Okay, let me put it this way so you can understand. Mercy say, I mustn't harvest from my blunder. And grace say, I must harvest even though I sowed nothing. Mercy say, anything bad must not come. Grace says, everything good must come. You are quiet and I feel Jesus right here. Are you with your father this night? So, I am saved by grace. And a grace means favor. So, is God's favor to leave the Jews and extend his hand to me, a Gentile? I shouldn't be called a child of God. I should have remained an idol, ancestral worshiper. But God decided, no, he's too cute to worship some ancestors. He better worship the living God than to worship the dead people. We are preaching to tell you that we are in a season of favor. We are in a season of favor. Now, favor is like water running through a pie. Faith is the pie. Favor is the water. Are you still here? Favor is like a drink inside a bottle. Let's assume it's an apple juice. The, the juice is favor and the, 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 the bottle, the container is faith. We are saved by what? By grace. Through what? Faith. Through what? Faith. So faith is like a tunnel. That's why I'm not saved if I don't believe. Oh, you need to what I say. I'm going to try for the second time. I repeat, I'm not saved if I don't believe. Have you seen God physically? No. Have you seen angels? No. Have you seen Jesus? No. Have you seen Ziba? No. But you believe in angels. Yes. How do you believe? I believe by faith. Because the faith sees the unseen and regard them as seen. Faith gives me access into a world of the invisible. That's why when I'm a man of faith, I don't need to have a car. I need to have faith. By faith, I'm a car owner. Oh, I'm too good for you. By faith, I'm a house owner. I don't need to have a house. I need to have faith. Because my house is going to come through faith. Faith is a tunnel. And my house is a truck. My house is going to drive inside the faith tunnel. So if I have faith, I can have everything that a billionaire has. Let them buy with their money. I will buy with my faith. Let them pay with their currency. I will pay with my belief. That is why if I have faith, I can get out of mental hospital. I don't need a psychiatric doctor. I need Jesus. Are you hearing the man of God? Tell your neighbor. If you're going to receive favor, you, you need, need some faith, faith girl. You, you need, need some faith. faith. You, you need some what? Some faith. Oh, hallelujah. I said, glory be to God. So in this season of favor, you better be a crazy believer. Don't believe average. Don't believe according to the limitation. Believe above the limitation. When they say you're receiving a million, tell them it's too small. I need a billion. When they say a billion, say a trillion. You need to think outside the box. Is the man of God in the house? Is the prophet preaching in the altar? Tell you that we are in a season of favor. Now listen, let's go. For by... Grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourself is the gift of God. Now look at your neighbor and say, it's the gift of God. You say, one of the things that will hinder faith in your life is when you think you qualify. Don't pray the whole night and wake up in the morning and say, yeah, Lord, I qualify for harvest. Whatever God is doing in your life has got nothing to do with qualification. 
When it comes to God, we are all disqualified. The more you pray, the more you realize, oh, I am a sinner. Actually, maturity is, the more you come closer to God, the more you realize you don't deserve God. You can never qualify enough to receive what you just received. Because each and every day, unknowingly, unknowingly, knowingly, unknowingly, aware and unaware, you mess up. You look at something you're not supposed to look at. You say something you're not supposed to say. You touch something you're not supposed to touch. You taste something you're not supposed to taste. You smell something you're not supposed to smell. You admire something you're not supposed to admire. Oh, Jesus, I feel preaching here. So I cannot put any qualification on the blessing of God. It's got nothing to do with me. It's about grace. Are you understanding the man of God? Are you following the prophet of, the, of God? Oh, glory be to my Father. So, I am saved by grace through faith. And that is not of myself. It's got nothing to do with my effort. It's a gift of God. Tell me about Favor is a gift. And it will get me gifts. Or say, I know it's not good English, but I made the revelation. Favor is a gift and will get me gifts. Once there's favor in your life, guess what? You will attract gifts. Now we know what is a gift. A gift is something that comes from a loving heart. And you don't work hard for a gift. You just leave and they give you mother the gift. And you get what I said. So favor is a gift. You cannot do anything to receive favor. All you have to do is just to be in the will of God. When you are where he said you must be, he will give you what he said is yours. How's that I'm going to go with that? How's that I'm going to let that sound like you do? Are you here with me? Shout amen. Now write the two pillars of favor. Pillar number one, desires of my heart. Desires of my heart. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to listen to your father. Would you not have something to do like that? Yeah, I would say. Would you not have something to do like that? And we didn't want to go find to know the battle. And the rigid full stone, the gale kabosha. Let's go see who the battle is and baba. The high system, we go for sure. We are back. How long do you think? God will not give you what you don't desire. And even if you have evil wishes. Against others, just because you desire that for your brother, if it's good for your brother, it's good for you, baby. Chickens are coming home to be roasted. Are you following the man? So pillar number one for you to receive favor is called what? Desires of my heart. It's called what? Desires of my heart. For the last time, it's called what? Telling about the desires of your heart. We will not be disappointed. 